welcome to my youtube channel Modi mechanical engineering tutorials in this video I would like to explain about read type mechanical comparators so basically the comparators that will be used to measure only difference with respect to the standards measurements so that is a basic principle of the any kind of comparators so for the detailed study you should refer the link it will be given into my description for the basic characteristics of the comparators now let us see for this theory and that will be the read type mechanical comparators so starting with the construction and working of read type comparator so in the read type of mechanical comparators the gauging head so this one gauging head is usually a sensitive so that will be called as a gauging head that should be sensitive high quality and a dial indicator it will be on that construction of the read type of mechanical comparators so the dial indicator is mounted on a B supported by the sturdy columns so just you can see the construction of read type of mechanical comparators so in construction a fixed block so that will be considering a fixed block a which is five turns or you can say fix to the gauge head and the floating block B so here that will be the floating block B so two blocks one that will be the flex block and second one block B that will be considering as a floating block that will be fastened to the gauging head for the measurements so according to the construction floating block B which is connected with the plunger or you can say that that will be also called as a spindle or you can say plunger so by the construction wise our plunger or you can say the spindle which is connected with the floating block B now that will be connected with the fixed block A with the horizontal seats that will be representing as a read C and into the vertically that will be connected with the help of read D so now this plunger it will be connected to the floating block B with the application of read C read D to the fixed block A and that will be all assembly of the gauging head so what happened at the initial condition this plunger or you can say this contact point it will be in contact with the sum of the standards suppose so this one is considering as a standards and take the reading one now this standards it will be replacing by some of the components so just you can see so this one is now considering as a workpiece material so by the change of these dimensions of workpiece with respect to standards so the movement of this plunger towards the upward directions like this so by the movement of this spindle or you can say plunger into upward directions so now this plunger it will be connected with the floating block B and with the fixed block A by the application of read C and floating block A and floating block B which is connected vertically with the read C and here that will be the one center which will be connected with the pointers and into the back side that will be the indicator so what happens by the changing of that particular dimensions according to its magnification capacity it will be reflected onto the pointer or you can say onto the circular scale so this one is a 
reading from the standard and now that will be replacing by our workpiece material so it will be reflected like this so that will be the second positioning or you can say result from workpiece so basically this deflection from standard reading to workpiece reading it will be depends upon how much change of that particular dimensions or you can say that length or height so it will be in terms of any kind of linear standards so basically the magnification of read type of comparator that will be up to 100 but if you are using some kind of lenses or you can say some of the optical techniques so that will be magnifying up to 500 to 1000 so 10 times at your initially so that will be all are regarding to the read type of mechanical comparators if you like this then subscribe and share Modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you very much